Have you ever tried to make a circle and ended up with a hexagon? Or do you just want to know how to make any of these shapes? Then this tutorial is for you. I am going to explain to you how to stagger your so circle. Um, a lot of circle patterns actually give you a hexagon and there's a, a nifty little trick you can use to end up with a circle instead. So I'm going to explain how to make both of these and then you can decide which one you like better and which one do you want to use in your patterns. What we do is we first start with a magic ring. Once we have our magic ring ready, we do six single crochet in our magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that we have that, we can close our magic ring. So we did our six single crochet for the first round. For the second round, we do six increases. So we do six times um, two single crochet in each uh, in each uh, stitch of the previous row. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. <clears throat> that was our second row. For the third row, we do one increase and then one single crochet. And that makes um, 18 stitches in total. So we do one, two, that's one increase, and then one single crochet is number three. Then another increase is four, five, and then another single crochet is six. We continue this for the 18 stitches that we talked about. So seven, eight, then nine is the single crochet again, 10, 11, and then 12 is the single crochet. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is the single crochet, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen is our last single crochet. We can see it already starts looking like a circle. And what you notice is that in row two we did increase and then zero single crochet. And we repeated that six time six times for the third row. We did increase and then one single crochet and repeated that six times. And to make the circle bigger, we just continue doing increase single crochet and repeating that six times. But uh, every, row, every row that we do, we do one single crochet more. So row two was increase zero single crochet and repeat that six times. Row three is increase one single crochet and do that six times and row four will be increase two single crochets and repeat that six times row five will be three with three single crochet row six will be with four single crochet and that's the way that you kind of repeat part of the pattern to make it bigger so we will now be doing row four which is increase and then two single crochet and repeat that 
24, uh, yeah, 24 times. So, one, two, three, four. Then we do another increase, five, six, and then another two single crochet, which is our seven and eight. We just repeat that all the way around. So nine, 10, that was our increase. Then 11, 12 is our, are our single crochets. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And you can see that that just makes our circle get bigger and bigger. I'm going to do two more two more rounds in this circle. Um, so we have um, row, row five that we're doing right now, which is increase, and then three single crochet, and repeat that six times. So increase, and then three single crochet. And that was our first five stitches. So now stitch seven, I mean six, six stitch six and seven will be the increase. Then eight, nine, ten will be single crochet. Then eleven and twelve is increase. Then thirty, fourteen, fifteen a single crochet. 16, 17 is the increase, 18, 19, 20 as the single crochet, 21, 22 as the increase, 23, 24, 25 as the single crochet, then 26, 27 as the increase, 28, 29, 30 is the single crochet. And you just keep going like that to make your circle bigger and bigger. Uh, what you can see is that this looks like a circle, but as it gets bigger, it will look um, slightly like a hexagon. So it will look like it has six little points. And that is because we currently do all of the increases in the same spot. So all of, if you look at this in close up, all of our increases will be here. I'll just get this off. All of our increases will be here, 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 here there so you will get six points where the increases are happening if you don't want that you need to do a technique called staggering your circle and I will show you now what that means I'm just gonna get a slightly different color so that we can really see the difference We start the same with the magic ring. And six single crochets in the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. We close our magic ring. And 
and then we do six increases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we continue the same as we did with our other circle, which is we do one increase and then one single crochet. So increase, single crochet, and we repeat that six times in total so that we have 18 stitches. So these were three stitches, then four and five make our increase then six is a single crochet seven and eight is the increase nine is the single crochet ten and eleven is the increase twelve is the single crochet thirteen fourteen is the increase fifteen single crochet sixteen seventeen make the increase and eighteen is the single crochet you can already see it starts to look a little bit hexagonal and what we want to do now is we want to stagger our increases which means that we don't want to do the increase in the same spot every time so instead of doing an increase and then two single crochets like we did last uh, with the other circle we do one single crochet then an increase and then one single crochet and if we do that, that means that the increase will not be in the same spot every time and that will give you a nice round circle. So we do one single crochet and then we do the increase and then we do one single crochet. And we keep doing that all around until we have the 24 stitches that the circle needs. So this is stitch five then six and seven make our single crochet then eight and we have nine and then ten and eleven make our single make our increase i mean and then twelve thirteen then fourteen fifteen for the increase 16, 17, 18, 19 for the increase, 20, 21, then 22, 23 for the increase, and 24. And you will start to see that it will now also look a little bit hexagonal, but less than before because now we kind of made it hexagonal the other way. I'm gonna do um, two more rounds. I'll do one more round showing you and then, um, yeah, I'll do another few rounds just off camera so that I can really show you the difference between the normal circle and the staggered circle. Um, but since we just did a circle, we just did a round where we did one single crochet increase one single crochet and repeated that we will now move the increase to the front again so we need to do an increase i mean yeah we have to move the increase to the front again so we do an increase and then three single crochet so increase whoops i didn't get all the loops increase and then three single crochet one increase three single crochet one 
and we do that six times in total. And what that means is we have a little bit of um, of an uh, of like a pointy end here, but because we now don't do the single the increase on this end, but we do it a little bit before that, um, the pointy side the like pointy side will now be here instead of here, which will make it round in the end. I'll also make sure that I have like a very clear picture of um, what I'm doing on the on the screen after this when I show you the end result so that you can really see the difference and um, how, how that happened. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make these a little bit uh, a little bit bigger. And then um, after that, I can, uh, yeah, I can try to explain you a little bit more if uh, you now know how to how to do that. Um, but I'll I'll just give you some extra extra explanations. But you can already see that this one has, uh, yeah, is a bit more hexagonal, and this one is a bit rounder. So I did an extra row on both of these, and now you can clearly see the difference. This is the first one that we did, and this is the second one that we did. So with this one, all of the increases are in one line. With this one, we have increases on, uh, on the corners, but the row before this, we had the increase not on this corner, but right between these corners. And that makes that this one is really hexagonal and this one is way more round. If you have a pattern that's written in this way, you can easily just decide to stagger the, stagger the circle yourself. I actually write a lot of my patterns in this way because I prefer reading them in this way. So if I make a pattern that says increase single crochet two and repeat that six times you can also decide to do single crochet increase single crochet and that way your circle we will be rounder and that is just a personal preference i think in some plushies you actually don't notice the difference when you stuff it but if you make something that you want perfectly round or for example if you make um, an actual round thing that's not going to be a ball but that's just going to be a circle then I would definitely use the staggering technique to make sure that um, it is actually really round instead of hexagonal unless you just want a hexagon because that's also fine but I think it's good to know the difference between these, t these two and hopefully after this tutorial you know which one you want to use and you know that there's a difference. If you're interested in more of these tutorials or if you're interested in making more shapes, I am actually going to do a basics tutorial series where I make a bunch of different shapes because I think making shapes is really good for practicing but also if you want to make your own patterns um, it's really good to know the different shapes, so I'm going to be explaining. Uh, I just explained how to make how to make a circle, but I'll also be explaining how to make an oval, a cylinder, a sphere, some cones. I'll be showing you tons of different shapes. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe so that uh, you'll see these videos when they come out. And I'm also going to have a playlist with all of these shapes videos. So be sure to watch that if you want. Bye.